Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. This week, because Thanksgiving is coming up, I'm really excited. I decided to make a Thanksgiving craft. I actually decided to make two. Um, I was just gonna make this one and then this sort of happened. Watch this video and see how that happened. I struggled with this. Oh my goodness, was this a pain in the butt? And you will see why in just a minute. Here we go. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. Today I'm gonna do another craft because another holiday is coming up and that is Thanksgiving. At least in Canada, it is coming up soon. I know in the States it's a little ways off, but you can always start getting prepared for it now or save this video until later. As always, I apologize for any cat noises you may hear. She has already started meowing at me, but we're just gonna roll with it. So, today I'm going to be working on a craft that I've seen around Pinterest a lot, but I'm doing a bit of a different twist. So I've seen where you have a mason jar and you attach leaves to it, use Mod Podge, and you create this really beautiful leaf vase or vase. Vase? Anyway, um, I'm not really a big fan of this mason jar trend. To be honest, I'm surprised it has lasted this long. It's cute, I get the appeal, it's just not for me. So I got this beautiful glass vase. I guess vase, I don't know, I used to say vase. Eh. Anyway, I bought this and I'm gonna do it with this instead. What I recommend always doing when you're working with something like this is to give it a good wash before, make sure any dust and dirt is off of it. And after that you don't wanna touch it because you don't want you know, grease and stuff from your fingers getting on it, which is why I'm not touching it really. I'm just gonna give it a quick little dust off, just in case overnight, since I washed it yesterday, um, more dust got on it, but we're good. So you can do this with either fake leaves or real leaves. A lot of what I saw online, people used fake leaves because real leaves can be really brittle, so you'd have to get the real leaves when they're really still healthy and do it right away. With fake leaves, I've seen a lot of people use leaves like these, and they're fine, it's just they have this plastic part, so what you have to do is remove the plastic from it to have something perfectly flat. And that was my plan, but I came across these, and they don't have the, leaf, the plastic part attached because it's just the leaf fabric, so I think these will work really well. What I'm going to do is get started on creating this and show you how I do it step by step so you can follow along if you want, save it for later, do whatever, or look on Pinterest and see how other people have done it too because this is a commonly done um, trendy craft, I guess you could say. Now, everyone who I've seen do this uses one of those um, sponge things. It's on a stick, it's kind of like a paintbrush but it's a sponge instead of the bristles. Um, I don't have one. <laughs> And I forgot to buy one when I went to the dollar store to get stuff for this. So we're going to see how it goes with the paintbrush. And you want Mod Podge. Mod Podge. Because it dries clear. And um, it's sticky. I couldn't find something called that, but I'm thinking it's a brand name. I did find this, and it's called Tacky Glue. And it says it dries clear. So I actually did a test on... Oh, I touched it. I'm not doing the top anyway, but I, I did a little test on the top here and it dried clear. So I'm improvising a lot today. <laughs> so what you want to do to start is to cover the entire vase with the Mod Podge or the tacky glue, whatever you have. Okay, so I'm gonna stick one of these on here. I'm wondering if uh, I should have just done little bits at a time. But what they recommend is then you use the Mod Podge over top. This was a bit more challenging than I expected. Hang on. One is kind of stuck down. There's little parts that are still kind of coming up, but I'm hoping that as I go and attach leaves on top, it will help. Okay, 
So I have the first layer um, for the bottom. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. <laughs> so I decided to flip this over so I can start with the first layer along the top. I decided that my strategy now is to just get them stuck, like really stuck on, and then worry about the edges. It's one thing I love about crafting, you can kind of innovate as you go, change up your plan. I'm thinking because I really like the orangey color and I love the idea of the um, orange color being the main focal point because that is a really prominent, not Halloween, Thanksgiving color. The top layers are gonna be mostly the orange and the red and this greenish brown are good for just underneath to add a little extra color. Now I've seen a few different crafts that use Mod Podge and leaves. Um, there's one where you can make a leaf bowl that I saw which was kind of interesting, but not really my style. But a lot of these things, they use saran wrap to cover and kind of just hold everything in place. I'm debating on doing that now and then taking it off for another layer, but it seems like a lot of work. So I probably won't. One thing I think that is making this a challenge for me is because of the curved shape of this vase. I understand why people use mason jars to a point. If you use a really textured one or one with like the indented writing, I could see that being really challenging. Um, but yeah, maybe get something that's a square vase or something that it's a cylinder so it's just curved in one direction instead of all directions like this is, if that makes sense. I think after I do this layer, I'm gonna do the saran wrap thing just to make life a little easier. And then I'll stop this filming. Hopefully Cassidy won't wake up and then I can continue. I'm not sure how long I need to do the saran wrap thing. Or I'll probably change my mind in like five minutes, who knows. This is just a very awkward shape. I wish I had thought this through a little better. But I really like the shape, so I think it'll be really cute in the end. But yeah, I guess my main piece of advice right now is to stay patient <laughs> and um, don't get too worried about these things flipping up. Um, I'm trying not to, it's kind of annoying me. <laughs> and get a lot of this stuff. I feel like I'm using a lot more than I thought I would. I'm sure I have enough, but just to ease your mind, I would get more just to be safe. Okay, I got some plastic wrap. Maybe don't touch that. Ooh, that was a good catch. Probably gonna leave that in the video. I wasn't gonna film this part, but I thought you might enjoy watching the struggle here. I'm actually not having too bad of a time. Actually, this works because I can still work on the top a little bit. Hold up this saran wrap. I think I'm gonna need more. Oh no, we're good, probably. Mm, no, I'll probably need more. Okay, so 
it's in the saran wrap now and I'm hoping that just holds it all on there real good helps it get pressed down I'm gonna let this dry I don't know how long <laughs> probably might have to come back to it tomorrow so you might see a different outfit hi everyone as predicted I had to wait till the next day because I didn't really have an opportunity to come back here so that's fine moment of truth I'm gonna unwrap this I am horrified <laughs> I'm really scared. So wish me lots and lots of luck. I'm also gonna get my stuff all ready. I had to tidy up in here a little bit after. <sighs> Pray for me. <laughs> I'm gonna do this very, very carefully. The outer layer will be the easiest since it's not touching as much stuff. Yep, it's pulling stuff off. Oh boy. I'm not sure about this craft, guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm tempted to take the glue gun and just glue down <laughs> parts of it. I don't know if this is doing what I needed it to do, which is just getting to stick. Because it's still popping off in parts. Bloggers on Pinterest made this seem a lot easier, just saying. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm popping a bit of this tacky glue underneath parts of the leaves and then I'm holding it down with the brush I almost call it a toothbrush <laughs> and so yeah I'm hoping that helps the parts just stick to be honest I'm okay if little bits stick out because then it would make this look textured I just need it to the leaves to not fall off you know I feel like the Saran wrap was a bad idea because the Mod Podge didn't dry, which I knew would be an issue. Um, I did read on some blog posts that you have to take it off after a little while to help it dry further. I guess for an in-between part, if I wanted this thing to dry fully first, I should have actually left no Saran wrap on it. Because I guess if part of it dried perfectly, these things would have stuck to it better in the parts that it was actually stuck because some of these leaves are sliding right now, which is causing issues for me. So if the parts that are stuck were like legit stuck, I think that would make this easier. I think what I'm gonna do is do the leaves along the middle, so because you can kind of see a seam between the top row and the bottom row. So I'm gonna do leaves along the middle part, and then we're gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna work on something else because I'm not, sure if I'm happy with this, so I thought I might as well have another project going on that I will be happy with. I'm going to use some of this. What I'm going to do is paint the leaves with the stuff and then stick them on. So that way the leaf is entirely covered. So I feel like some of these, and I'm not faulting the bloggers, some of these craft bloggers are really good at these things and just don't have some of these struggles, but <laughs> I like to think of myself as good at crafting, but I have struggles and I think it's nice for me to be able to kind of troubleshoot some ideas and let you know how they work. That may have, that may have been good. That may have been a good idea. I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of, it actually stuck. So let's try that again. I know this method, my hands are going to get very sticky, which is fine. Honestly, crafting, expect to get messy. It's fun. It's part of the fun. And just, you know, don't wear your favorite shirt when you're crafting and you're going to be fine. Well, the one I just did is starting to fall off, so maybe it didn't work as well as I would have liked or I should have held it on longer. <sighs> Now, I talk a lot about this, um, just in general, but mental health and how being creative is really good for your mental health. Stuff like this, like where I'm kind of forced to just sit, hold things and wait, 
it's a good time for me to sort of process my thoughts and, you know, go over things, sort of work things out in my head. It can also be hard if you're in a bad mindset at the time because you can also start torturing yourself with your thoughts. So it's good while you're crafting to really try and remind yourself that this is the time for you to process thoughts, sort through thoughts, and not try and make yourself feel bad. Um, this is a time for... Yeah, these aren't working. Ah! Okay, so what I need is a lot more blopping. I think it's good to paint these with it. But I think you also need to put a bunch where you're going to do it. So let's try it now where I put the stuff where I'm putting it and also there. I'm just gonna hold it with my whole freaking palm. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so like while I'm doing this, this can be a time where I can just sit and think about things, work through things, work through my thoughts. Um, think about things I gotta do today, organize my thoughts, um, and if you're finding that your thoughts are being really negative that day and you're having a hard time, that's when you want to shift focus to the crafting so you can practice mindfulness while you're crafting. So really focus on what you're doing, the colors of your materials, um, how the Thing feels in your hand like right now I can think about the stickiness of this glue and the curvature of this vase and I'm just gonna pull my hand away I think that might have helped this is definitely going to be a textured vase I'm not sure how they get it to look so like like it's part of the glass <laughs> on these blogs but mine's gonna be textured so what I think will end up happening is I'm going to put this to the side when I'm done, give it some time to just dry, and then I can make final touches from there, because I think this needs to fully dry before I can really do much more with it. What do you guys think so far? What do you think it looks like? Do you think it looks nice? I think it's going to turn out nice? I'm scared. There's a cat out there. You know what? Doing the whole palm thing seems to be helping. that are sticking off. I'm just gonna get this stuck on. I'm gonna put this away and let it dry. And you might see another wardrobe change because I will probably have to work on this tomorrow. All right, I'm not touching this anymore. We're done. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm gonna make a Thanksgiving centerpiece. I got this cute little wooden planter box. It actually has plastic inside for if you wanna put real dirt inside, but I won't do that. I want to paint this brown. In a perfect world, I would stain it so that you could see the wood grain underneath. I think that would be really cute. I don't have stain, um, and I also don't have brown paint. <laughs> I do have a really dark brown stain um, that we used to stain our raised gardens. I don't feel like getting into that. It's very fumey, and it doesn't allow the wood grain to show through, so if I'm gonna use, you know, something that's not a nice stain, I might as well use my paint. I gotta mix up my paint and try and make a nice brown color. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Okay, I made brown paint. <laughs> Took a lot of trial and error, but I got it. Um, added some blue, it looked great. Decided to add some green anyway. Made it very pukey green. So then I had to add, I tried adding red again to balance out the green, because that kind of makes sense, because they're complementary colors. That didn't work, so then I put more orange and yellow in it, and now I have this. So, <laughs> we're just gonna hope for the best here. Okay. 
and it's actually not a bad color. You know, you can see the grain through this a little bit. I'm thinking even though I've got a ton of paint here, I might only do the one coat, just to hopefully keep some of that. I'm watching my sad little vase with leaves on it here, and <laughs> one leaf is just like, <sighs> I'll deal with it later. I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> this is going to dry. Then I am going to write thankful on the side. And I'll be using stuff like this for the inside. And I also have this cute rope stuff. Really rustic looking, but I can glue along. Oh, I'm seeing a spot that I missed. Actually, there's something I wanted to try. And I should probably try it before I get rid of this brown paint in case I have to go over top of it. I don't mind this. Here, I'll show you what I'm doing in just a sec. I'm gonna just do it here. It's a little thicker here than I like. But then what I'm gonna do after is take this into the brown paint and do that over to make it even more subtle. It almost makes it look like wood grain. So I'm actually kind of liking it. It looks better on this side. All right, now I'm gonna do it with the brown paint. There's always a side that needs to be the back, so I don't like this side so much, so I'm gonna leave that, but everything else looked good. All right, so I'm gonna call it quits for the moment. I might see you back today or tomorrow, probably tomorrow, and we'll see how things are going with the vase. Um, and then we'll continue from here with this. So, yay. See you guys tomorrow.